Hello, St. Joseph's, as you can see, David and I are in the choir loft, and we're going to be worshiping tonight with the Compline service from the Episcopal Book of Common Prayer, as we are observing a commemoration for Joseph Butler today. And if you'll hang on, we will bring up that short little... And as you see, there is Joseph Butler, who lived from 1692 to 1752. He was a theologian, a writer, and he is most known for his defense against something known as deism, D-E-I-S-M. And deism uh, deals with the fact that they say God was sort of this third party creator that made the world and then just stepped back and let it be. Uh, and of course, we know of God's deep involvement in the world and in our daily lives and his involvement to have a relationship with each one of us. So we will start with a collect that is for his particular feast day. O God, who raises up scholars for your church in every generation, we praise you for the wisdom and insight granted to your bishop and theologian, Joseph Butler, and pray that your church may never be destitute of such gifts. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. Amen. And we were trying to think of a hymn that would speak to us of God's involvement in our world. And this is the one that came to mind for me. So with David's help, I invite you to join us in Great Is Thy Faithfulness. Blessing 
Saints all mine with ten thousand beside. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning new mercies I see. Some great lyrics, and in that second verse, join with all nature in manifold witness to thy great faithfulness, mercy, and love. A great way of seeing the beauty of nature as one more sign of God's desire for involvement in our world, not for God's desire to not be involved with us. We have a prayer that Joseph Butler himself has written, and I would like to share that as we continue. O Almighty God, inspire us with this divine principle. Kill in us all the seeds of envy and ill will, and help us by cultivating within ourselves the love of our neighbor to improve in the love of thee, Thou hast placed us in various kindreds, friendships, and relations as the school of discipleship for our affections. Help us by the due exercise of them to improve to perfection till all partial affection be lost in that entire universal one. And thou, O God, shalt be all in all. Amen. One of the things I really like about his prayer is where he talks about our friendships and relations as the school of discipleship. I, my takeaway from that is that the relationships that we have one with another school us in our learning about God. And conversely, in his writings, he also talks about our understanding and relationship with God helps us to understand more about our relationships on earth one with another. There is this interplay that we talked about yesterday with Evelyn Underhill. And of course, one of Evelyn's mystical ideas is this idea that really Joseph Butler it's upon that we see God in the present moment, especially in one another. So as we continue to listen to our presiding Bishop Michael Curry, may we continue to follow the way of love and let that continue to be our school of discipleship. We're going to bring up the prayers for this compliment tonight. And at home, you can either follow along in your Book of Common Prayer, beginning on page 129, or more simply, you can just follow along on the screen with us. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. And let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
And the psalm appointed is Psalm 134, and I'm inviting David to lead us in the psalm. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In our scripture verse for tonight is from 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 8 and 9a. Be sober, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith. Thanks be to God. And now our response is, Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto you. Let us pray. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snare of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace. And let your blessing be upon us always. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And, O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep. And grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now David's going to lead us in our canticle, the Song of Simeon. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen. All we have needed, God's hand has provided. Something that I think Joseph Butler would agree with is a practice that we use on our mission trips and on our pilgrimages, and that usually at the end of the day, we will invite each other to reflect on where we saw God today as we reflect on where we are seeing God, we end with what we've been doing for our sign of peace because there are so many ways that the Jesus in us sees the Jesus in you. God bless you all.